There are many different types of breast reconstruction, and the risks associated with these procedures vary. Here's Dr. Evans explaining the risk factors and complications that may result from the most common breast reconstruction options. Breast reconstruction procedures involve basically two major areas. One is using a patient's own tissue, and the second is using either some type of implant reconstruction or what we would call tissue expander, which is like a balloon apparatus. Any operation carries risk. The major three risks of any type of procedure are anesthesia, bleeding, and infection. Uh, but in again, depending on the type of reconstruction will depend on the additional risk. Uh, there's always a very small risk of even death to the patient. Again, it just is based on uh, medical uh, history and medical problems and then how healthy a person is prior to the surgery itself. If you're using an implant or tissue expanders, there are some added complications uh, with potential rupture of the implant, uh, exposure, rippling, and capsular contracture. If you're using the abdominal tissue or back tissue, uh, a patient's own tissue, there may be additional risk in regards to mobility. Using the abdominal tissue, potential risks of an abdominal hernia, or more commonly what we call an abdominal bulge, uh, or issues with wound healing. Uh, so there are always risks to any procedure. We tend to try to minimize those as much as possible. My advice to other women that are going to go through the same thing is that, um, you know, just your attitude, research, know what you're getting into. There's many different procedures out there. Know how you, how you want to recover and, and, and uh, what you want to, as a result to see. and. Uh, you know, as I think knowledge is the, the best thing and also attitude.